the parameters of the public discourse seem reduced to the question, are you for or against fossil fuels? It is perhaps the ultimate false dichotomy. It erroneously constrains what options are available. It should not be a question about one or the other. The complexity of the challenge calls for an inclusive approach, not the pursuit of a single one size fits all panacea. The challenges before us are enormous. And we have seen recently that the strains and conflicts related to energy affordability, energy security, and the need to reduce emissions require a delicate balancing act, comprehensive and sustainable solutions, and with all voices heard and listened to. Focusing on only one of these issues while ignoring the others can lead to unintended consequences, such as market distortions, heightened price volatility, and energy shortfalls. My dear friends, climate change and energy poverty are two sides of the same coin. We need to ensure energy is affordable for all. We need to transition to a more inclusive, fair, equitable world in which every person has access to energy as referenced in UN Sustainable Development Goal number seven, and we need to reduce emissions. It is an energy sustainability trilemma with each piece having to move in unison. What is clear is that the world will need more energy in the future. OPEX recently released World Oil Outlook 2021 sees global energy demand expanding by 28% by 2045. It underlines the need to have a holistic view of the energy sector and appreciate what each energy source can offer. For oil and gas, there are some who believe that these industries should not be part of the energy future, that they should be consigned to the dustbin of history, and that the future is one that can be dominated by renewables and electric vehicles only. It is important to state clearly that the science does not tell us this, and the statistics related to the blight of energy poverty do not tell us this either. Renewables are coming of age, with wind and solar expanding quickly. But even by 2045, in our world oil outlook, they are only estimated to make up around 24% of the global energy mix. Oil and gas combined are focused to still supply over 50% of the world's energy needs by 2045 with oil at just around 28% and gas at just over 24%. It is important, my dear friends, to stress that many OPEC member countries have great solar and wind resources and huge investments are being made in this field. OPEC welcomes development of renewables, which will be vital to help quench the world's growing thirst for energy.